1868 trapdoor rifle. I had another one of these which I sent out to have the barrel relined, but I got this one, and this one is more correct and historically correct than the other. So we'll do an overview on this. Now the 1868 was the first trapdoor. There are several changes from the Allen, the second Allen conversion. This was the first one with purpose-made receiver and barrel. Now they were still using probably the stocks, trigger guards, and that from the muskets and the lock plate from the date. This one's 1863, I believe. So they're still using whatever leftover parts they can get away with, but they realized that they wanted to start manufacturing the guns. Uh, either they ran out of barrels or whatever. And they, they decided on this receiver. And this receiver is kind of, kind of a longer nose to it. And the barrels were all made brand new. Um, they weren't reused or re-sleeved barrels. I think maybe the first hundred of these may have used a re-sleeved uh, musket barrel. And also the length was down, I think, to the 32-inch length. They shortened the barrel length. And from now on, the guns used uh, two bands as standard, other than three bands. And the cleaning rod was changed a little bit. It uses a spring-loaded uh, thing to hold it in place. It wasn't screwed in like the earlier ones. Now, another thing is, too, they used a different sight on this. Now, this is the proper sight. My other gun has a musket sight just stuck on there. This is called the long range sight. There it is folded down, and when you fold it up into this position here, like this, it has a bar that slides up and is graduated at the top to 900 yards. So that's the new sight. Also on this model, if we look, uh, it's a little bit of a difference. You can see all of these guns, all of these 50 caliber guns have two position hammers. The later 4570s would have three position hammers. This is the safe and unload position, or safe and load, unload, and then fire. where the later 4570s will have a three position hammer. Now the changes made were, we notice the thumb latch is a little different but it's still fixed the same way with a screw and a plate has the uh, spring loaded thing there. Now there you can see the screw, the screw goes through the bottom of the breech here and holds the firing pin in place. Okay, there's a notch in the firing pin at the end of that screw and allows it to travel. So that's where they changed that. Uh, the breech also has been arched, I guess, to make it lighter. And also, this is the first gun to use the... Uh, down in there, the blade-style ejector here to the left. And that was standard on all trap doors to the last model. This is the first model to use that. And then it became a standard on all of models since then, 4570s and the 5070s. We'll take a look at how that works here in a minute. Okay, how this works is it blades down there and there's a, it's a round piece with that arm and there's a spring-loaded plunger behind it. And then when you lift it up, that kicks, and out comes your cartridge. This was the first model that style extractor was used with, and was standard since. And there we have it. And this one too is 5070. 
Now the uh, breech markings on these, if you look there's an Eagle in 1870, they will not have model on them. The uh, 1870 rifle will have the word model 1870 and there's three types. There's 1868 which only a hundred were made so it's extremely rare. 1869 which uh, were fewer and the most common is 1870 which we have here on the breech. And also if you notice this has this thumb latch is two square sides more or less. The shape of it is different. Uh, the 1870 will have a more rounded on one edge and then I think the 4570s are kind of rounded on both edges. So they changed the shape of the latch on the gun as it went on. But that's the uh, Model 1868